hidden within the swamps and peach trees of the south, and buried in the ruminations of the townspeople, lie the secrets of Saw Hill Springs. Forever sealed in mystery, the seemingly innocent old town is anything but. These secrets, burdened by time and old town gossips, are dying to be revealed. But too often, they are taken to the grave. What secrets does this old town hold? What are these people not sharing? And what happens when those secrets are finally revealed? My name is Alice Vandra, and I present to you Horror in the Hive, Episode 1, Flames. Saw Hill Springs. Everyone off for Saw Hill Springs. Last call, Sawhill Springs. Oh, God, it's hot here. I don't know how I ever managed for all those years. Pardon me, sir, but do you... Why, Tom? Good shot, Miss Nina Clark. Is that you? The one and only. Oh, Lena. Why, I haven't seen you since you were just a little thing. You know, since you left, your aunt has missed you helping with the apiary is something fierce. Oh, Tom, I miss you. Oh, child. <laughs> I wish I'd known you was coming. I fixed you some of my famous spiced peaches. Oh, Miss Nina Clark, we've missed you. Now, come now, I'll help you carry over your bag to Anne. I'm heading there anyhow. I... Just a one? Oh, uh, yes, I'm afraid I can't stay long. And no need to walk me to Aunt Hannah's. I'll re-telephone Darlene at the Bees Hive Inn. She's promised me a room for a couple of nights. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear you can't stay long, Nina. Uh, wait, you sure packed everything but the kitchen sink? <laughs> no, you're too kind, Tom, but I can... Nonsense, nonsense. It ain't that far out my way, and you know I'd do anything for you, Lena. You know, you should have told Bo you was coming. He would have loved to meet you coming off the train. And no, I figured he must have been awfully busy at the factory and planning for the wedding, and I didn't want to bother him. If you're sure, Big City ain't treating you right. Oh, it's been an absolute dream. Breakfast in the prettiest little cafes you ever did see. Shops on every corner with the ladies from Paris, Milan. I even saw President Shaw one afternoon on the walk to work. It's a whole world out there, Tom. Just wait till you see it. Nina, you truly are an angel. But my word is Salt Hill Springs. Mary Louise is here. The Bees Hive is here. And besides, your aunt is getting up there in age. With you off, she ain't got no one round here except herself. Ah, uh, speaking of the devil, here we are. The bees have. Gotta head over to Anna's now. Something up with her apiaries again. <laughs> it's good seeing you, Lena. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Hey, Darlene, have you seen my pocketbook? Loretta, don't tell me you've lost it. I have done no such thing. I have simply misplaced it. Well, give me a moment, will ya? I gotta finish up writing these checks to the bank. They were supposed to be filled out days ago, but I can't seem to hear myself over this racket. That's it. Loretta, check upstairs. Boys, quit it. Now, I told you boys to drop it. I ain't gonna have no fighting in my end. Well, if it isn't my Lena. Hey there, darling. Well, let me have a look at you. You're all grown up. Yet I don't quite feel it sometimes. I thought you was coming on the four o'clock. It's only half past noon now. Caught an earlier train. Loretta will be so glad you can make it. In fact, you just miss her heading upstairs. I know this wedding business has gotten her in a tizzy, and with that fiancé of hers always working with the factory and her trying to fill her mama's shoes, it's a wonder anything is getting planned at all. I mean, my Shaw, her mama is surely turning in her grave to see her 
poor Loretta so strung out. But Anna has been such a dear to be helping with the desserts. You know her honey is absolutely to die for. But, oh, you know all about how good that honey is. Yes, well... Uh... Well, no matter. With you here now, I'm sure Loretta will be just fine. And with that wedding coming up, your aunt will love some extra help with all the honey we'll be needing. My shaw, you'd think the bees was getting married at this wedding and... Oh, goodness... You must be exhausted after your trip. Let's find you that room and get some hot food in you before Darlene, you... Darlene, come quick, fire. Oh, what in Polis is it? It's the keepsake factory. It's, it's gone up in flames. Oh, my shawl, Lena, stay here. Lena, you're, you're here. You two can catch up with each other later. Let's go, Bo. Right, right. Oh. Horror in the Hive is brought to you by Firesafe, the makers behind your favorite beverage ingredient, brominated vegetable oil, or BVO. Tired of wondering whether you might burn to a crisp in the hot southern Shawland sun? Try a BVO-infused carbonated drink. Worried about a potential asteroid hot rock spa day? Add a dash of any BVO flavor to your morning breakfast. BVO now comes in three new flavors, Mountain Fresh Onion, Lemon Cheddar, and by popular demand, Polis Peach. FireSafe is not responsible for any injuries or fatalities in association with any FireSafe products. Customers would be advised to consume at their own risk. And now, back to Horror in the Hive. Fire the fire! Right. Oh, 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 we got a man! Come on! I need more pipe! Let's get some water on this place! Move it! Move it! Please! We got backdrop coming! Charlie, out of my Chase, way! Chase, right and get those people out of here! The whole place is gonna blow! Don't you think I know that? Clayton, what's the hold up? Has this place been cleared yet? Chief, we got somebody in there. Put in the bullets. Get him out of there. I could hardly see. I would have stopped for him, but the whole place is coming down. I barely made it out myself. Everyone else, get out. I'll get it's him. Suicide, Chief. Brian, you moron. Now get him. Clayton, you damn fool. Get back here. <laughs> Okay, Tom. Tom, what are you doing here? What's this? What's this broken glass? Watch yourself. Hey, hey, that ain't no accident. This is no accident. Too sweet. Don't trust. That funny. Hey, Lena. What are you saying, Lena? Tom, Tom, stay with me. I gotta get out of here. I'm a shark. Right behind you, Clayton. Ah! Charlie, any ID on the body? <sighs> Tom Weston. Results got back a few minutes ago. Darlene has been swamped with worker injuries, but seems to have been the only death. Shaw. Sure. He was a good man. And Clayton, any update? Nope. Last I heard, he was still unconscious at the hospital in Shawson. Doctor expects he won't wake up for another few days at best. Shaw, why'd I them go up there? Brenton, it wasn't your fault. No one could have seen that beam coming down. My question is, what was old Tom doing in the factory? In all my years on this job, I've never saw a flame like this point. It was if the flames themselves were alive. I, I, I've never seen concrete burn like that. And it must have been my imagination, but the flames smelled differently. Must have been because of the factory, but I- well, What are you trying to say, Bratton? This was no ordinary flying. This was sabotage. <laughs> Well, well. Looks like the Sawhill Springs keepsake factory is burned. Leaving one dead, one in critical care, many injured, and all with more questions. How did the fire start? Was this a murderous plot or an unfortunate accident? Why did Lena come back? Will Clayton recover? And what happened between Lena 
and her aunt. Find out next week on Horror in the Hive.